Hey guys, today I wanted to show you some of my favorite organization and storage containers that I use in the kitchen. I'm gonna be sharing where I use them as well as where you can buy them if you want them. Now these are all containers I have used for a while now. None of them are new, so I know they work. Let's get into it. This here, I have got the storage turntable and it is from Kmart, I've got two of them. It has three compartments. It has a really long one, which I can fit two vinegars in, and then it has the two smaller ones. Now, I use it up the top of the pantry here for sauces, oils. It's a great use of the space, and you can easily access whatever you need to just by turning it. Next to it, I have my baking section. So these containers are also from Kmart. They are plastic with a bamboo lid and if you have a look at that seal if i could show you a close-up it is fantastic it is a really tight seal so everything stays super fresh not that these guys are staying in there that long because i'm doing a fair bit of baking i also have the longer one which we use for cereal i have one with vita brits in that needs free stockings so i've got one in there and this is the 3.5 five liter one. I also have one with Cheerios in it. We use this for the kids on the weekends. They'll come and have some Cheerios before we have a later breakfast. Just means on the weekend, hubby and I can have a lion. They're eating their Cheerios, so they're not starving before we all have breakfast together. The next two containers are Cuggis and they are from Ikea. They've got a great lid on them, which I like. That just keeps all the baking supplies contained so you know I've got chopped chips food dye a few other things the great thing about having the lid is I'll often sit something here so if I get rolls or something I'll sit it here and it just works so well for a small pantry just to maximize that vertical space by having a lid the next one is for pasta and so I've just got a chocker block for the pasta I don't decant to my pasta I just keep it in its packaging until I use it so these are from Ikea I also have the smaller one, which I put spices in it. Um, a lot of the excess taco ones that I get from the kit that I reuse later on, I have in the smaller one. The one on the top's from Ikea too. I've got that on screen. I use it for recipe bases. It's a smaller one you can find in the kitchen section. Look how much it's holding. Like there's so many recipe bases in there. So it can hold quite a lot for a small container. Then the one at the back, I have a lot more cans in it. I'm not gonna recommend this. I'm not happy with this. Um, it is just a bit too flimsy for me. I wish that I had got a solid three tier one, but it's doing the job at the moment. You can extend it out so you can make it longer, but it's just not that sturdy. So I've got it as short as possible because that's when it's at its most stable. And then a large one of the Variera, if that's all right, um, we put our Mexican in it. And then I have another one for like rice. Just helps to contain them together. So you've got them in categories, so it's very easy to find them. Here's another turntable. These are so good for spreads. This is just a simple one from Kmart. The ones we're using, I keep on there and then the excess I just store behind. I have another turntable up here for our cleaning products. So we have the dishwashing liquid, eucalyptus oil, the floor cleaner I'm using at the moment, some gumption, just makes it very accessible to get what we need. And I have this in a top cupboard, so it's very accessible to be able to reach what I need by just turning the turntable. This drawer is just one of my favorites. It stays organized whenever I open it. It just looks so organized. The next one, I've got to show you my most organized drawer and how I maintain it. This really doesn't get disorganized. It doesn't get overloaded. Very easy to get the pot or the saucepans when I need it. And it is using a plate holder from Ikea for the lids. And I just put them in there and it stays like that. It's also very easy to tell which lids, the big one, the medium and the small. So it's easy to then put it on the saucepan. For my baking trays, I use a file holder. I'm using a white plastic one here. Also, this file holder would work so well if you wanted to separate your plastic container lids because you can just store them vertically and then you can see what you need. So I do like this, but if you want to hire one, I use the file rack for my serving dishes. 
So there at the back, you can see I've got the black file rack and it is so much higher. So it works really well for chopping boards. And you can see there that wooden chopping board is just vertical. It just sits in it really well. So the file rack and the file holder work great for chopping boards, plastic lids and baking trays. So it's not just for the office, you can use it around the house as well. Then below I've got a magazine holder and that is where I put my daughter's kinder lunchbox and her cooler bag as well as her drink bottle. So the night before kinder it's all in one place. And yeah, next to it I've just got the bigger bulkier trays which they're standing quite well by themselves next to that magazine holder. In the under sink cupboard I have these all set two drawers and this I bought from Bunnings and it can quite easily stack. It has the capabilities to stack multiple ones on top of each other. What I've got in this one is the bin liner and then on this one I've got the sponges, scrub daddy and then the replacements for the dish matic. I don't actually decant in my dishwashing tablets, I just grab them from the box. Down the other end of the bench I've got some napkins in the same all set container from Bunnings and then I've got coasters on the other side. Down the end there, I keep aprons as well as our cloth serviettes. This container here is just from Kmart. It's kind of short and long. And this basket above, I don't even know where I got it from, but I used the ice blocks as well as like the DIY yogurt ice creams and ice creams and, and items like that. In the bottom drawer here, I've got these three compartment containers. They're from Kmart. They're the short ones. It just means that I can separate it instead of everything swimming around in the drawer. And you can adjust how small or wide you want them. So I've just got some bibs at the back, some cloths, some lollipop sticks here, as well as a bit more baking stuff and some gloves. And then I've just got some towels around here. These towels are just great. If there's a spill or something, then I've got some in the kitchen to just grab and chuck on the floor. Then the third drawer from the bottom, I've got these bamboo containers. I've got two of them and I nearly wasn't gonna show you this because obviously it's not neat, but we all fold differently in our family. And as long as it fits in the drawer and I can shut it, I do not mind. So we have tea towels here as well as the cloths that I use for cleaning. And then the extra ones I can just put along the side. Thanks heaps for watching guys. I'm gonna leave my organization marathon here if you need some motivation. Take care. Bye.